If love is wrong, if love in you is wrong, I don't want to be right. If being right means living without you, I'd rather live a wrong during life. Your mom and daddy say it's a shame. It's a downright disgrace. As long as I got you by my side, I don't care what these people say. To tell you it's no future in love than another man. If I can't see you when I won't, I'll have to see you when I can. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. Da -da 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 -da. It means being without you. I don't want to be right. It, it means I got to sleep at night. I don't want to be right. Da -da 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 -da. If loving you is wrong. Hey, Frazier Laurie. You're the only one that's here. Ugh. Allergies, allergies, allergies. Sheesh. Good morning, Tiffany. How you doing? Did y'all catch that mess over there? Let us delay for another moment. Let me think of another love song. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't think of another love song. What's going on, Goonies? How you doing? <laughs> J-W-I-L. Ooh, name in it. Lord, have mercy. I can't believe this, people. I'm going to give y'all a couple more minutes, and we got to discuss this situation here, right? And I'm trying to think of a appropriate tune that we can uh, theme this uh, this live with. Y'all hear about O.J. Simpson? O.J. gone. I'm sorry to say, people, everybody's going in the same direction. He made it to 76. That in itself. He was blessed, right? <clears throat> he didn't pay for his crime here in the States for murdering that woman and, and her friend. Then he had the rough patch of being in prison for something that probably he shouldn't have been in prison for. Uh, now he's caught cancer, I guess. Pancreatic cancer is one of the worst ones starting a, a year or so back. And now he has passed on. Now, it brings into question, of course, I won't get into no big religious thing here. But, you know, when God said it's done, I mean, what does that mean exactly? Does Charles Manson go to heaven? You know, it calls into question our understanding of what heaven is, the afterlife is. Are we really going to pay for our sin in the earth, including multiple murders? I don't know. I would just say that this thing, this couldn't have been a very pleasant life for him. And now it's done. Uh-huh. So anyway, that is not what I come to talk about. There'll be plenty of people talking about OJ Simpson, his legacy. Sports friend, sports fans probably see him a little different than the rest of us but just because they've known him through uh, various stages of his life. They knew him as a star. They knew him as, as a celebrity. They know him even as an actor. They knew all these things about him. A lot of us only became acquainted with him uh, behind him murdering those people, right? Whichever, however you felt about it, it's done. Let me play this video for y'all. I'm going to play a little bit. Oh, hold on. I keep trying to make a, a comment to suggest a video topic, but you kept uh, disappearing on your channel. Oh, oh, I displeased you, Goonies. Oh. I'm so sorry. Uh oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, it's my mission to please you. <laughs> please forgive me. Please forgive me, baby. So what did I do wrong? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen to this. And we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, y'all. I'm out here drinking and everything, like our favorite content creators. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm going to say what I want to say. I don't care how y'all take it. But, um, Lemon, I have I, I am not confronting nobody tonight. So, Lemon, I don't know if you're in the bushes. 
Well, then I am feeling some kind of way. Um, that's why I put on my community wall. I'm not. I'm feeling some kind of way. Um, because lemon feeling some kind of way about a man up there. And and I let me just preface this. I, like I said, I'm sorry, Avatar Nation. Y'all feel a certain way. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. And if y'all don't like it, this will be the one time that y'all probably don't just gonna have to suck it up. And I've never told y'all that before. But I gotta say what I want to say, right? Because the shit happened in public. So I'm gonna speak on it publicly. Publicly, let me. I have an issue with you showing your picture to Brianna. What? I really do. I really do. I really, really, really do. Because first of all, Brianna is kind of my internet girlfriend. What? Let's just be honest, right? No, we're not being internet honest. Internet girlfriend. Uh-uh, no bullshit. Just... You know, good and goddamn well, Brianna is not your uh, your internet girlfriend. You ain't the way you've talked about that woman, honey. For the last three years, you used Brianna to get on YouTube. That's all it ever was. Jay, uh, what's, what's this? I gotta, gotta remember all the assholes are not just Jay Wilson. Okay, you used Brianna, you pretended to flirt with her in order to get a YouTube channel. You came on, you were cowardice, so you chose to be uh, an avatar and create your avatar nation. You have uh, affected the beef sector in a very negative way. Because now everyone thinks it's fine to be behind avatars hiding, correct? But you to come on here with starting at the premises that you're upset because uh, Brianna is your girlfriend. You don't give a fuck about no damn Brianna child. You care about uh, Lemon showing uh, Brianna the picture instead of showing it to you. In other words, you've been obsessing about this man for several years he has not chosen to let you know who he is or show you his picture other than that, that arm he used to put up in the window. I wish he'd go back to that arm, honey. Uh, now he covers his face. You have taught Lemon to, to speak behind an avatar. You have taught Lemon. He's he come up under you, right? When everything's about an avatar, never let nobody see you and all, and you're offended because he showed this woman. Why can't he show a woman his body if he wants to, child? He don't want to show his body to a man. It's a real world girlfriend. She's kind of my virtual girlfriend. Uh huh. So for you to show my my virtual girlfriend a picture of you, I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I'm like, why? So you were finished behind behind Brianna, huh? I, I mm-hmm. didn't understand that why you had to show Brianna you. And I was in a chat real time saying, don't do that. Oh, don't do it. That, Damn, don't show her that. Don't show her. Don't do it. Cause one, I know how Brianna is. She goes, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the harm in him showing his picture to whoever the fuck he wants to show it to, child? What do you mean don't do that? Don't do that because I'm in love with her. She my internet girlfriend. You you don't want your man to show his body to no other bitch. Bottom line, Sir King, you'll be so much freer if you just come out and tell that boy. Now, we know you would be beauty and the beast, right? Because we know we already have a pretty good idea of what you look like, right? And we've got, uh, uh, apparently, uh, Brianna at some point will give testimony to, testimony as to what Lemon looks like, but you're not a match. And there's not a very good chance that you'll ever uh, uh, get to know him shall we say right sir queen excuse me oopsie i made a boo-boo sir king i said sir queen but i'm saying i mean i'm supposed to say sir king sir king i gotta remember that honey let's go examine a little bit more and y'all see if y'all see the same thing i see i see a man jealous because he is uh, lemon has let somebody else see him before him when he uh why you want to see this dude that's a man you said you a straight man didn't you now, I've got to tell you, people, mis- and I don't like to misgender people, and I, I don't like to uh, call people who are straight gay. I don't like that. That's not my particular kind of disrespect. But I got a problem with this, uh, Sir Queen. Damn it. There I go again. Sir King. I got to keep remembering that. Sir King, right? Because I'm seeing something. The same thing that I've been seeing for the last couple of years. You seem to have an obsession with lemon. Correct. It seems to me, I won't say unnatural, but I will say it seems to be a little a step past homies. 
Let's hear some more. Wait a minute. I lose you. Hold on, baby. I don't want to lose you now. She going to drag you. And what did she say you look like? An Asian man. What? <laughs> I, I was like, what the Don't stop posting so much. So let somebody else talk. That's the first thing she said. You look like an Asian man and your hair look like a lemon. I was like, oh, damn. I told him not to send the damn pic. And I didn't understand. Why? Why do you care? Why? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't, I, I was perplexed because, and then this is the part that, this is the part that kind of pissed me off more. That girl over there begging for cash out for every damn thing, from toenail polish to, to, to hamburger buns. Like you. And you gonna give her your picture for free? For free? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute you now. Wait a minute, no wait a minute, now. wait a minute. Are you trying to pimp Lemon out? Are you trying to tell Lemon that when he shows his picture, he's supposed to get paid for it? Are you gonna get a cut from that? Why in the fuck are you interested in what the in, in, in the relationship between him and Brianna? You know you had no no physical interest in no band damn Brianna, right? All your interest is in Lemon. Lemon has been in 80% of your of your commentary, right? You see him stepping off on his own now. You see your man slipping away, right? No, we don't. We, we have no confirmation that Lemon has never ever said anything to you that would suggest that he was interested in you in any other way other than possibly a YouTube mentor. Correct. You came in on the skirts of Brianna. He came in on the skirts of you. Correct. But I haven't watched this channel yet. I haven't gotten around to that. So I don't know where his stand is, but I'm sure his stand it's not, I want to go and make love with, with uh, Sir King. I can't seem to get it. Sir King, right? I got to keep thinking of you as a king until you announce, until you break down and admit who you truly are, right? Because of who you are. Let's get a little more. This only goes on a couple minutes. He has. This is one of his segments. Mm -hmm. Come on. Off of her getting your pick, and let me you even don't let me. I ain't coming at you, but you must not know your worth on these YouTube streets. Sell your you ass, Brianna. Get it, YouTube got it. Mm, mm, mm. Why don't you have a competition? You let her put no sure, yours, money. and you know how she be begging. You didn't say, No, nah, girl, $25 if you want to see what I look like. You like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me drop off and get on my other phone. It only comes down to $25, nickel and dime hustling. Uh, Sir Queen, why don't you admit that you feel like if anybody on the YouTube should know what Lemon looks like, it should be you. Yeah, you're the one who promoting uh, the Avatar Nation. You're suggesting that a person doesn't ever have to show themselves. They are avatars. You've encouraged him. You've mentored him, right? And you feel like that somehow or other you have to know what he looks like why is it important for one grown straight man to know what another straight man you seem like you wouldn't have any interest in that right but you are very very interested in in sir king, king. I'm like, what you doing that girl want to see what you look like and what she say you look like a whole damn asian you black, but you look like a what? So <laughs> then lemon. This was the other part. You wanted her to start lusting over you. Mm. Now what you say I look like, how you said good I look, what you say about me? Lemon. lemon That's my it ain't Don't be showing her my man. goods. How you gonna do that? <laughs> Let me put it in comparison. Go ahead. That's like me sending. Baby girl Brianna, whatever her name is, baby girl Bree. Well, no, 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 sorry. Baby, whatever her name is, they got the multiple children. The one that got the whole football team. That's like me sending her my pick. I don't think she wants to see that. It did ask her, hey girl, how you think I look? Oh, man. Say it one more time, how I look. I was like, what? Or dragons. Man, send her my picture of the dragons. And they be like, hey girl, tell me what I look like again. Tell me, tell how, tell me how good I look. 
That's how that is. That's how that is, Lenny. And I was like, what? I was like, what the hell? This is man to man now, huh? Okay. Then Brianna lying ass the told on herself. Nowhere in the chat did I say she was going to screenshot it. She got upset with me. Talking about, oh, I didn't screenshot it. I ain't got no phone in the other hand. Who said you screenshot it? I didn't say nothing about no screenshot. Boy, everybody on YouTube can see each other, except for if you get over here to the beef sector. You to convince these damn people that they have something to hide, right? It must always be behind the avatar. You came over here telling this bullshit, oh, Avatar Nation, Avatar Nation, right? So why is it so important for you to see another man's face? I don't understand that. Uh, Lemon, when he put that, that that arm up in that old video, he, he had a, he had his thumbnail, just a, a arm, right? And you became obsessed with him, Sir Queen. I mean, your, Sir, Sir King, you became obsessed with that man. And it's only obvious to people like me, child. There are so many aspects to your personality that make it obvious to me that you are what you call a down low queen, right? That's why people are constantly slipping and calling you Sir Queen, correct? Now, I don't think that Lemon has any part in that necessarily, but everybody wants to be admired or whatever, right? Right? Now, if he looks he looks Asian, a lot of people look, black people look Asian. To me, Five Babe, her, she has eyes that, that look Asian to me. Or Asian influence. I'm not saying that that is the truth, but I've known people who've had that feature in, in their face, whatever, right? And you have a problem because Brianna was able to see it and you were not, correct? So just say you're jealous. And you're jealous also of him having his own channel, right? Because you're saying, well, damn, he's coming on here and he's already starting to get more views than I have. And I've been on here for four or five years, correct? So that's going to come next. Next, you and Lemon are going to fall out, right? You're going to have a, a major beef, right? Because you're going, to, you're going to be offended, just like people when they're on their job. They're on their job for 10 years. Some Somebody comes right out of, out of college somewhere. They got some little bullshit degree, and they, then they are your supervisor. Now, do you think you don't got a problem with it? No matter how much you smile and grin, right? You have a problem with it, right? I've been here for 10 goddamn years, Right? So you see that coming and, and you resent that as well. You're going to have a problem when, if Ness sees him. This is like your you, this is like your obsession, your person. Lemon is mine. Keep your hands off of him, all that kind of stuff, right? But anyway, I think he finishes it right here. I said you were going to drag him. You told on yourself because you probably did have another phone on the other hand screenshot of what he looked like. Now the whole YouTube got it. Let me, I'm gonna say, do you know this girl history? This girl probably said your whole pick everywhere. Like so what he saw his picture, nigga. Brand, you see my man? picture? You are your brand is like kind of like anonymity, a little bit out there. Some people seen you. Not everybody done seen you. So that whole allure is gone. And there's no They're allure behind them damn avatars. They over there and still way that maybe you and Cole are brothers. Maybe you and Cole know each other. Uh, uh, Sir King. Got to remember, Sir King. There is no there's no mystique about you being behind no damn avatar, boy. This is a delusion of your own mind, right? You over here convincing these people that they is is it, it, there's, some, there's some mystique or some sexuality behind hiding behind a goddamn picture, and people got to see the same picture for, for, for thousands of times, child, and they both be turned on by oh, what's he look like? Oh, the mystique, nigga. When you're ugly, when you're ugly, of course you want to keep some mystique. It's like phone sex workers when they uncover many of those phone sex workers and they talking off. All sexy, what you got on? All that kind of shit. And they sold some of these people and saw me. They weighing in at 450 pounds, girl, sitting at home making money from you fools. That's the only mystique there is, Sir King. You are beauty and the beast. You are the beast, Sir King, and you sound ugly, right? So, you, uh, uh, of course, you want to be behind avatar, but why are you co convincing normal people that they need to be behind avatars as well, right? You've given up yourself. You've given up yourself. So has the other six and a half million people on YouTube, girl. They all given up themselves. 
And you have to get over to the uh, the beef sector, beef sector. Oh, oh, they're gonna see you. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know something about you. <laughs> and everybody knows except you. Now you're terrified, uh, sir, sir King. You're terrified now that that picture is gonna leak, and then everybody gonna see Lemon before you. You feel like you're supposed to be the one seeing him. Don't talk to a you ain't talking to a fool, man. I've been in this gay shit for years. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that now they're putting the pieces together. Oh, that's why that, that, that. that's why Kelo came over. Nobody knew Cole until he came over the limits. Oh, we see that. So everybody saying you and Cole cousins. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. So I felt some kind of way. <laughs> what you said, Joanna? Hello, Joanna. And he ran straight to Mr. Tell Bree. Said he what? And, oh, he ran straight to the nest to tell her. But he said he had some child. Listen, he I had just, some. Listen. Oh, he has biceps. What been for think? half a decade? I don't know. Long hair. It's been so long. Ooh. But you that, don't know. I, said, I ain't expect him to ever show his picture to Brianna of all people. Mm. <laughs> I'm still trying to see and the effect. Why? 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 Brianna's not even the kind of girl that will pick you up in real life. Like, like would you date Brianna in real life? So why would you? Would you? You say your girlfriend. That move. And then pe- Did he say this is his girlfriend? I ain't, trying, I ain't trying to put you in no mess, but Ron said that was definitely a surprise. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, I'm just... Mm. Oh. I can't, you can't, I can't, you can't, we can't, we can't either. I don't understand that. Child, the chances are if this dude decides to come out and show himself, because you're going to get much more engagement when you're talking to an actual person. The bouncing ball can only hold your interest for so long. People are not going to sit and look at their TV looking at this little bouncing image, girl, for hours and hours and hours, right? So if anybody's going to be attracted to Lemon, he has something, I, I assume, to work with. Right, you would have nothing to work with by showing yourself, uh, the Sir King. Right, you have a reason to hide, honey. Let that man do it's his thing, let him do what he want to do. You can't tell him who to sock it to. Let me now, it's his thing, thing. He do what he want to do. Uh, Sir King, I don't think I would make it so obvious that I'm obsessing about another a man showing his picture to a woman i just don't think it, it, it's, it's a good look buddy if you're trying to stay you are so committed to that closet uh you need to get off that dude's back i, I ain't saying this that's literal and i hope if lemon listens to this he don't take no offense at what i'm saying i am not criticizing him in any way because i don't see his part in it he can show his picture to whoever the fuck he wants to show it to i don't see any harm on him coming on and establishing and building their personality online i don't understand all the need to hide because sir king is ugly right that don't mean that everybody gotta hide honey oh you're gonna they, they're gonna get docs what are they gonna do a facial recognition now we got to go into conspiracy theories and, and it, maybe you can enlist the government to take his picture and we can find out who he is. What's his name? Where he live at? You have so much to lose, uh, Sir King. You sound like somebody who's taking classes at City College. So what in the hell is it, all this you have to lose, Sir Queen, unless unless it's just being uh, exposed uh, as a closet queen? Mm. How y'all doing? Look at uh, what you say, uh, Goonies. What he say about the eighty? He said eighty-eight people's only in the chat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Goonies. I mean, yeah, Goonies. If there's only eighty-eight people in the chat, it's because they're not interested in Sir Queen King. Excuse me. They're not interested. They find him boring, honey. He's he's uninteresting. He does not garner interest. They'd much rather hear about O.J. Simpson, child. Correct? So don't blame me. You can blame it on the rain. You can blame it on his big ass. <laughs> you can blame it on, don't blame it on the sunshine. 
Don't blame it on the moonlight. Uh, don't blame it on the good times. Just blame it on Queen. <laughs> yes, so we sunshine, moonlight. <laughs> Hi, Tanisha. Tanikia. Tanisha. Is that right, Tanisha? LaFleur, how you doing? You peeking in through the curtains at, at, at your office? Mm-hmm. Thank you for coming in, for peeking in. I thought he was same gender. That's what I thought. I mean, I, I was amazed when he said he wasn't. He, Sir, Sir King says that he is a straight man. Yet he don't. Uh, the only interest he seems to show in women is he want to claim that Brianna is his internet girlfriend, although he has shown no attraction to Brianna at all. All he does is insult her and use her for content. He went over there and pretended that he, he was physically attracted to her only to get his ass on YouTube. And he wrote that, but he was too cowardice to show what he actually looked like. Because if he showed what he looked like initially, he knows that people would say, <gasps> damn. <laughs> so in order to be taken seriously by her, he had to keep himself a mystery. And he's held on to being a mystery. And unfortunately, he has corrupted the beef sector. He has corrupted the beef sector. We know we, we no longer have full personalities over here. We have people speaking behind little pieces of paper that bounce back and forth just to let you know who's talking. We've devolved into nothing but panels, right? And he has had an influence on, on all that, right? People have been convinced that it is important that they hide, right? How big would Oprah Winfrey be if all we ever saw of Oprah Winfrey was a little picture of her when she was a young girl? There was never any show. I mean, there was never any physical people. How big would Wendy Williams be if she was hiding behind an avatar? How big would any of these people who are making, I mean, they're making loads of money on the YouTube. Are any of them hiding behind an avatar just to speak? That, that, that suggests that you're extremely insecure. I'm not talking to other content creators. I think you have been badly influenced by fools like this. Correct. You would do much better if they were people who were able to connect with a person. All the people y'all call OGs, original gangsters, you know what they look like. Uh, a lot of them are just doing what everybody else is doing now anyway. But initially, they all were people. They were all on camera. They all cammed up, right? But the internet is such as, as this, is just, things just catch on. Not because this fool is no, no brilliant person or anything, girl, but things that catch on. Oh, 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 they doxing. They do What are you, girl, what are they going to do? Find out you're working at the convenience store. Oh, my God. I'll be ruined. I'll be ruined. <laughs> ruined from what, girl? <laughs> like you're some kind of goddamn celebrity or something, child. Uh uh, so he goes on and on about this boy, uh, uh, Lemon. Let's see if she showed it yet, John. Let me go over here for a minute. Hold on, let's go over here to Brianna Simone. What's it called? Pettyville, Pettyville. And let's see if she's already shown the picture. He said, Oh, y'all gonna know what Lemon I've been with Lemon, I supported Lemon. That's not what well, Pettyville does not give me that. Petty. Is it Pettyville, right? Pretty. Okay. Oh, I got Petty Vile. Uh, let's, let's see. Bree. Brianna. Simone. What is her channel's name? I want to see. Or somebody go and check. Simone. Here I am tearing these damn words up this morning. All right, Miss Bell, Miss Girl. There she is. Okay. Let's see. Uh, community wall. Oh, Brianna. Okay. No, she's just got pictures of herself on there. She don't have no pictures of Lemon on there. No, I mean, eventually it's going to happen. You've given her the information. So when they fall out, which it seemed that everyone does eventually, 
Y'all see what lemon? I don't know why it should be such a surprise what somebody looks like. Do y'all see me right now? Has my life been destroyed because you see me? What kind of shit is that, girl? Mm hmm. <laughs> he looks like he shaped a bag of potatoes. Who is that? I look like he shaped a bag of potatoes. <laughs> I started to put, uh, put a picture up here of Beauty and the Beast. But that would make uh, the beauty would be a feminine. I don't want to feminize that dude, Lemon. Uh, he, had, as far as I know, he never did nothing to me. So this ain't about him. This is about uh, the his, his person who obsessed with him. How you doing, Nikki B? I need to make me a playlist to sing to you in the mornings. Mm. <laughs> he might sing again. If you don't hit the like button, hit the like button. Would you please hit that like button? Thank you. <laughs> mm -mm. Hi, Lincoln Berries. Nappy child, my moderator. How y'all doing this morning? Lord, they're talking about uh, O.J. Simpson gone. Well, I, I I don't know what else you can expect. I mean, he's is in his late seventies. We don't get much longer than that. I mean, yeah, people live longer these days. Some people live into their, you know, well into their eighties, nineties. There's even people who live to be a hundred years old. But you in your seventies, you you're getting close, right? So I ain't got no love for no O.J. Simpson. As I as I said, I'm not. I've never been a sports fan, so I didn't come into it already having. Uh, having some loyalty to O.J. Simpson. So the only time I've even paid attention to him, and I, I thought he was kind of funny in the, what was that movie he made? Uh, he had made a comedy on an airplane or something like that. Y'all know what it was? I thought he was kind of funny in that. So uh, he was just a personality. He's one of those ones that, trans, uh, that, that transferred from being a football star to being a television personality. Then he was... Uh, in commercials all the time. I think of a Hertz rental car. Right. And he presented as being uh, just a, you know, folk hero. But, of course, that was the, that was the trial of the century. And uh, I'm, I'm sure two people have been murdered before. But when you add celebrity to it, it was a huge story. Some uh, Most people felt like he got, he got off just by uh, hiring the right lawyers. Johnny Cochran, same thing with Trump. You think Trump would be be able to stretch this shit out for 10, 12, 14 years, stretch, basically stretching out these cases until they die out. If it wasn't for the attorneys, just for having money. It doesn't say a lot about our, our, our system. When these crooks can get away with anything, including murder, if they have enough money. Hmm. It becomes like a sport itself between the lawyers. It's not about it becomes who was the best lawyers, right? The best ones would be able to pay the most money. It becomes a battle of wits. Well, a lot of people, if they're working for the uh, prosecution, if they're, if they're public, if they're prosecutors, they're not going to be as, as smart or as accomplished as these guys, these multi-million dollar attorneys, Right. So it's, it's just a sport between them. You're fighting against some of the best people in the league. And they lost. The Naked Gun franchise series. Oh, it's a series. Goonies, you know what I suspect? I suspect that when we have conversation on here, you are actually looking stuff up on Google. Because there ain't no way in hell you can retain all this information. You, but you coming on like you know all this, all this stuff, right? You smarter than me. <laughs> I so strongly suspect that you are looking it up. Everything we say, you look it up on, on, on Google. Am I right? Am I right about it? Tell the truth and shame the devil. The old Ray trial is burning into my memory, just like 911. Everybody uh, remembers exactly what they were doing at the point. Everybody knew he was lying, but yet the challenge was still to get him off. Could they do it? It was more of a challenge to, to uh, his attorneys. Uh, wasn't the uh, Kardashian, 
Kardashian was one of them. I think the Kardashian was one of the attorneys as well. But when Johnny Cochran came in to the case, from what I remember, changed everything. And he turned it into a case about race. Although OJ had been separated himself from the issues years or years earlier. <laughs> when he became rich, he became a whole lot less black. Anyway, 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 it's done. So I, as I was saying, I don't know what happens to people when they pass away. I don't. I think it's foolish for us to pretend that we know God's going to judge you. You're going to sit at the throne of judge. We don't know any of that stuff, Jeff. When he said it's done, it's done. That means all sin. That means that you are a murderer and I'm a murderer. I'm a thief and you a thief and we are a prostitute. And I'm a pro We're all the same damn thing. He fixed it in Christ. So does that mean he's fixed it for these people who do these evil, horrendous things in the, in the, in the earth? Uh, a lot of people believe this whole uh, hell thing is, is just something passed down through the ages, honey. Uh huh. I got this loving God who's gonna burn me in eternity for all for, for burn me in hell for all eternity. Really? And look at the ones you send into hell. Really? So the serial killers get a get a pass. If he were to kill one more, he'd be a serial killer. Three or more. Ta, oh, ta, Katisha? Oh, Katisha. Katisha? Hi, Katisha. Thank you. It really helps me when you do that. When you spell it out for me. You're dead. Yeah, your uncle is old and half crazy. All right. Do I sense jealousy? Do I? Who am I jealous of? Do I want to go on, Sir King? <laughs> I doubt. No, I can almost I can almost imagine what Sir King looks like. I can just see him in my mind's eye. Honey. No, anybody interested in that? Yeah, so he had to come on here and justify now and make this thing popular of hiding behind the avatar because he had to hide behind the avatar because he's so ugly. Mm -hmm. Baby, pretty people, they enjoy being pretty people. They ain't trying to have, let me want to show somebody them. That arm. Remember that first few, few years he was showing that arm. <laughs> and Sir Queen got him over there hiding behind a damn avatar for the next two years. No, I don't want that. And that is not, and even if that is limited in the picture, that's not my type. Add all that up, but I don't do nothing anyway. And I ain't looking for uh no young husband. Mm-hmm. Maybe Sir King doesn't even know that he's a homosexual. Maybe maybe he just he just knows that uh, I I think about him all the time. I like I like to talk about Lemon. Uh, Lemon, you coming up? You coming on, Lemon? <laughs> uh, uh, there's some I suspect of that kind of thing where they've never fully uh, uh, they've never fully developed who they are and. They end up coming out in their 50s. I won't say any names. Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson. Come out in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> After the party is over, then they won't come out and dance. I want to dance, mama. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat. With... 60 years old. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah. Oh, I want to with somebody who loves me. Don't you want to dance? Oh, <laughs> uh, there will be no human souls in hell. The Bible thumbers don't know shit. That's like people say today. Okay, uh, I know this about this city because I stayed in the Holiday Inn last night. I read a book, an ancient, ancient, ancient book. Therefore, I know God. I know the thoughts of God. I know everything about God because I, these people who were barely literate in a desert, at the beginning of time, I know everything. Why do you know it, baby? Tell them why you know it. Hey, with the word, see. The word, see. <laughs> we don't know shit. We know about this world. What he did was wrong and it should have been punished in this world. We'll let God handle whatever he wants to do in another world or another dimension. I believe there is another dimension. Right, but I'm not going to sit up here and pretend that I know what the hell goes on in it. Is is Adolf Hitler in heaven? It's done, correct? Sin of the world.
What's going on? Did I sing a song? Did someone, did one slip out, Nikki B? And of course, Uncle Tim doesn't finish reading the whole comment before. Nick uh, Goonies, how in the hell am I? You didn't post it in here something like 30 times. Now, I'm supposed to read all these damn comments of yours, child. <laughs> and understand every thought that you have, Goonies. Goonies, what's your, what's your issue? I got a good therapist I can send out. Okay. She works online. <laughs> you ever have been banned from multiple trivia games? Uh, I have been banned from multiple trivia games. Probably because you cheat, uh, Goonies. You probably cheat because you don't know any of the answers, so you look them up and then pretend like you you know the answer because you had that knowledge. You don't have that knowledge. Hell, everybody can Google anything. I can sit here and click this button and Google anything, right? And you just pretend I said it. That's going to be the destruction of the education system, right? The people that are actually doing the work. I guess the teachers got to make them do the work in class because if they leave the class, they can look up anything, all the answers. Is that intelligence? I guess it's intelligent enough for you to know how to look for it. Let me see. <laughs> I'm busy recording. Okay. Purgatory. People don't know about no damn purgatory. That old man in the desert knew. He knew it. He knew God told him. Right. So you skip through 700 years and God spoke twice. And then that's the everything in the, everything in that 700 years. That's all the word of God. Why? Because it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You can serve with the kings and queens said first king, second queen. You know about the, what the King Solomon said. Here are all these, these kings and queens and so forth. And somehow or other, them preachers will go over and, and, and make it pretend it has something to do with you. Somebody else's story. Thousands and thousands of years ago. I ain't mean. Who mean? I'm just telling the Goonies the truth. He likes to tell me the truth. I'm going to tell him the truth. He said, Nikki B, it has been a curse. Everybody always saying, damn, Justin, you got, oh, the name slipped out. Damn, Justin, you got a story for everything. <laughs> yeah, his story is in Google. <laughs> That's where he's getting it from. Uh, I ain't going off on no rant on you, man. I've been good to you. You know I've been good to you, nigga. You don't have half the women probably say, oh, he's here, here he is again. Oh, God, here come Goonies. Here come Goonies. Let's get the answer from Goonies. <laughs> Why don't you fire him? Get rid of him. <laughs> it is referred to as autism or OC. Okay, so autism makes you look up things on Google. OCD. Okay, is that funny to you? No, it ain't funny to me unless you use it against me, brother. <laughs> you can't go around knocking people in the head with hammers saying, oh, it's because of the disease. It, no, you have to take responsibility for yourself, Goonies. I ain't saying it's bad that you ask questions, but goddamn, you got 50-some uh, 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 comments in here. And you want me to go through each one of them, honey, and understand them perfectly. Oh, absolutely, he did that. I, I, what was I at? When they had him on the freeway, what what he running? If he didn't do it, what's he on the uh, giving high speed, uh, low speed chase all around Los Angeles for hours, child? If he didn't just kill them people, uh, I was amazed when the, when he got acquitted. I I I said, well, I got to respect this these, these lawyers. I mean, you can get somebody off of with all the evidence they had against him. I mean, there was so much evidence, and it all came down to him. Oh, the glove don't fit. You must have quit. Well, the glove don't fit. You must have quit. Well, the thing's been going on for two years, nigga. You've been eating that goddamn uh, jail food, child. You probably done gained and got fat because you ain't working out. You ain't on the street. So probably your hand is bigger than it was when you are on the street, right? I'm certainly, I'm, I'm bigger. You're not active. You're just eating. I'm sure his fans sent him all the food he need, he wanted, honey. 
If the glove don't fit, you must have quit. So that system is flawed. The legal system is very flawed. You can look at J Donald Trump and see how flawed it is. How in the hell are you going to make these people keep giving him delay, 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 even though the judge knows exactly what he's doing? Then he's going to get, we're in the last year for the election. Then he's going to get to, oh, it's too close to the election now. And you can't convict me because I'm too close. When he was in the president. Oh, you can't never, you can't, you can't convict the president. You can't charge the president before he was running for, for president. Oh, 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 it's about to be election time. It's, girl, he's been delayed, delayed, delayed for his entire life. Since his daddy gave him that money and he started fucking it off, child. He's been delaying every kind of court case. He's been his whole life in court cases, child. And he has to employ a team. He has to employ constantly a whole team of lawyers just to fight all the cases he had before he even got to run for president. That's not right. He shouldn't be able to do that. He shouldn't be able to rape people. He said he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and he would still be elected to president. Now, that's a pitiful state of America. He meant it. You got Auspegers, Lincoln Berry. See, I never knew it. I have dyslexia. I, I, should I write books? I write them every day. I'm not supposed to be able to do that, but you can find a way. Oh, I'm so frustrated too, because now I got a new computer in my bedroom. And now I discovered that I can't even use my read please application because the damn new computers, they don't even have a place to put a, a CD in there. So when you go online, I got to go online and find a new reader and download it and pay for it, I guess. Because the other one, I had it on a disc. So my printer don't work, microphone don't work. Everything's got to be reloaded again. It's a mess. And uh, you don't want to get too far away from writing. It's very easy to slip off into writer's block. So we got to work on that. That's what we're working on today. <laughs> the trolliest troll that ever trolled. Oh, that'd be a nice catchy tune for his channel. You hear that, Goonies? You can be the trolliest troll that ever trolled. That'd be if you want to write your memoirs. <laughs> that'd be a good title, uh, Goonies. Mm -hmm. Tell them about the benefits of trolling. I wrote about murdering the beef sector, murdering the beef sector, then uh, uh, deadly wager, and now. Who shot the caller? Want to call people and things. You want to call jobs and things. You want to call my husband and tell him I've been cheating. All that kind of bullshit. And let's read that book, uh, Goonie, and see what happens. <laughs> uh -uh. Well, I think, I do believe, though, there is there is freedom in being honest, Nick and Barry's, right? These people think, they got some on you. Oh, I know you got the disease. You got this. You got HIV. Girl, I have no problem talking about HIV. I ain't got no time talking about shit. I don't got no time talking about prison or crimes or any of that stuff. Girl, because behold, God has restored me, child. And I'm not saying no shit. Don't be. Don't be hiding. That's why they always catching Jay Wilson and shit. And he always getting fired from his jobs, honey. Because it's all about catching him. I don't tell none of my business. I don't tell none of my business. Yet you come over here telling all your business the way you you done you know spun it every day. Nobody give a fuck about where you went, girl, where you live, who the hell. I got somebody. I got somebody. <laughs> like we give a shit, girl. <laughs> Bring them before us. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Well, we have sorry you have a struggle, uh, Goonies. Right. We, I mean, like that woman said in Dream Girls. I mean, she said, I mean, she, she didn't know she was pregnant. She says, I'm in pain. I'm not feeling so good. And the girl said, Effie, we all got pain. We all got different shit, honey. Even the people who you think got it, got it going on and perfect and all that. And when you dig into their life, a lot of people got pain. A lot of uh, people are raising uh, children with, with special needs and so forth. 
they got they got they got everything in the world and they still got issues right they still got to deal with a cheating husband right they start, still got to deal with with physical uh abnormalities i'm just saying don't don't use that as uh as like a defense it's just something you have to deal with we all got to deal with something honey. And don't believe that the ones who say they ain't got to deal with I guess uh, uh, Puff Daddy had it going on, huh? He ain't got no problems at all, right? Yet he has to, uh, he's associated with many, many deaths. Look what he's dealing with. You think you got pain? I keep wanting to, uh, to complain in my prayers about this damn arm that still is bothering me a month later. But when you think about people with real issues, real pain, this man just died from from uh, cancer. Sometimes they have you if you walk through a hospital and you realize I ain't got it that bad. I don't have it that bad, honey. You look at people living on the street. This ain't all that bad. I'm complaining because my grass didn't get cut correctly. You know, luxury issues. Mm -hmm. Nicky <laughs> uh, 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 B, Goonie, uh, uh, Jay Wilson, you look like you, Tim's new Jay Wilson. No one ever replaced that thing, child. That that thing there is unique in the earth. And then that the nerd be arrogant. You feel a song coming on? Oh dear, oh my, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nappy Child. I say hello to you, Nappy Child. I think you're the only moderator here right now. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. What else is going on? I ain't going to bury, uh, I mean, I guess you're going to pray for somebody. Pray for OJ's family. I mean, they, they're they only guilt by association. They haven't done anything. They're, they're the ones suffering, not him. He's going to wherever he's going to be. Whatever it's going to be, honey. It's, that's one of the, the things about internet, though. Before we had the internet, or before we had all of this uh, online shit, we didn't know all the people who died, right? Today, every time you wake up, honey, you, they tell you all the people who done died last night. And then we know that that is the reality. I mean, people have to die. And new people will be born. That's just the cycle of life kind of thing. But we didn't know about it. We, we would hear about somebody like O.J. Simpson. But we hear about everybody. Everybody in a group. Everybody, every singer. Everybody who had any kind of celebrity in the earth at all. We know about it. So it seems like people are constantly dying. It only reminds you of your own mortality. Or at least it's so in my own case. It seems to be uh, 70s like the sweet spot. Many would go past that, of course, but and then many would get shorter. But hell, I'm damn near 70 myself. 66, I ain't got that long. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. One of these mornings. This is for you, Nikki B. It won't be very long. You look for me and I'll be gone. Say, I'm going to a place where I have nothing, nothing to do but just walk around heaven all day. Mondays will be some whatever. <laughs> walk around heaven all day, baby. Rock around and sing his praises all day long. Mm -mm. I'm going to give me some shoes when I get to heaven. That's the birth of hope. That's why we survived. We survived slavery because we had to believe that something was better. There was something better on the other side, honey. Mm -hmm. You feel sorry for OJ's kids? Do they mourn the man who silenced their mother? Ooh, that's true. I, you have to consider that. That was their mother. Kids are closer to their mother than their fathers. We don't know how much relationship he actually has with them. Maybe they'll come out every few years and say, we support our father. Well, yeah, I guess you're supposed to support your parent, even though you, you know he's guilty. You know, he's fucked up real bad. But uh, they won't be the first ones. A lot of marriages have ended that way, honey. 
Mm-hmm. Can't control yourself. People, if you cannot control your anger, you get very angry with your wife. You you suspect her. You're looking at her phone. You're jealous every damn body. The male man is unsuspect. Just be single. Just don't bother. That's what I chose to be. Whenever any kind of violence popped up in my, my brain, I moved on. You ain't got to do it. Stop trying to force it. If you don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. Because that's the way you want it. Doesn't mean it will be so. If it don't fit, don't force it. Everybody's not intended to be in a relationship. If a relationship is making you miserable and all you are is just angry and you punching holes in the wall and shit, child, just be single. There are joys, there are pleasures to being single. <laughs> oh, oh, we have a little bit of honesty coming here. Oh, we have a breakthrough. Oh, this is a breakthrough, Nikki B. I guess I deserve it, Tim. Uh, I should keep my complaining about your singing to myself. <laughs> there you go. It's a breakthrough, man. Mm -hmm. A spiritual breakthrough. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go back over and watch. Listen to Jay Wilson. <laughs> What's that T today? Let me see. All you need is the title. Let me see. Give somebody else business. What is the tea today, child? He, he don't want nobody in his business, but whose business are you in today, Jay Wilson? Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Kwani. Okay, so he's trying to start up a Kwani now. See, they got to keep this, this beef sector thing. Here's the thing about the beef sector. They got to keep a beef going, right? And when there's nothing happened, they got to go and find something to happen. They got to make something happen. It's getting ready to happen. Right? So her, Jay Wilson, doesn't realize, well, you can step out of the beef sector and go talk about something else or whatever and wait till the beef comes to you because since most people don't like you, can't stand you, girl, this is gonna, a beef is going to come to you. No, she always goes out, out of her way to find somebody to beef with. Kwani, if it ain't like that, your boy caught feelings. What? Kwani, it ain't like that. You supposed to say isn't nigga? You got five degrees. Jill, okay. How many videos have he got today? Let's see. Okay. 14 hours ago. So so far you got one, two, three. It is mm -mm. so far you got one, two, three, Jay Wilson. It is uh nine o'clock in the morning here, I believe. No, it's eleven forty-four. You got three. So now he coming, he want to make comment. Uh, to Kwani because she knows Kwani gonna come back and that, that's how it goes child. back and forth back and forth I guess you could say the same thing about me going over here and pulling pulling the hairs of this Sir Queen but he just kills me because it's so obvious to me child you're obsessed with that man now there have been stories you can follow it. men can get attached to men I mean men have uh, friends that they're very attached to Very, I, I, I love it I love to see when men are are have best friends women have best friends things like that right uh sir sir king seems to be uh he seems to have fallen in love with lemon i'll just say it like that i mean it has to be said sir king right now whether you want to address the issue i don't know i've brought this issue up over the years several times and you never respond to it because you know it is the truth you know it in your heart right That might be why Rimp, uh, uh, Lemon had to spin off to himself. He said, you just getting too tight. You just getting a little, a little too, too close, bro. You know, back the fuck up. <laughs> Jealous because some he sent a picture to Brianna. What the fuck? Oh, I'm in love with Brianna. That's why you shouldn't send her. It ain't got nothing to do with Brianna. You don't, love, you don't want him sending your, his picture to no other person. Man, woman, or child. Oh. Let me see in here. That's what I was doing that. Let's see. Oh, 67. All right. That's the next one. Don't make me too old now. I'm 66. Uh, Mrs. Ricks. 
Let's see if that was you. Mm. I am Mrs. Rick. Thank you. Oh, you did send 66. Priority alert. That's the one Jay Wilson said he's sending her money back. Priority alert sends one dollar to tell you information, right? Yeah, I'm gonna send your money back. I sent your money back, honey. I Jay Wilson, you sent her back one dollar. Stop trying to take credit like you 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 sent you sending her something, but you ain't did nothing, child. You sent any 20s and 50s back. Thank you, Mrs. Ricks. I appreciate it. Happy birthday to me. What is priority saying? He's saying for Honest Road Live, Dragon J. Wilson. Oh, really? Oh, I have to go and see that. I love people to drag him. Mm -hmm. I love it, baby. How is Squeenie? Oh, this Squeenie is doing well. He's doing fine. He got his new haircut. He real, real bossy about this damn, uh, maybe I should have had an apartment that didn't have no hallway. Have one of those ones open, no. But if anybody that goes down that hallway, he feels like he has to address them. Daddy, there's somebody out there. He feels like that's his job. He feels like it, I have to let you know that somebody's on the floor, daddy. I said, baby, as long as they're paying their rent, don't they have a right to walk in their own hallways, squeenie? I bet you have forced a few things into places that it didn't fit, Timothy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like the violence in sexuality. If it don't fit, don't force it. Right? Now, Jay Wilson. <laughs> Well, he ain't got to worry about that. He fit in anything. Huh? Uh, <laughs> mm -mm. I passed up another year. I told you every year I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and meet me somebody. I'm going to go out there and get me a relationship for the day, every birthday. And it never happened. And this year, we've done it again. I am so grateful. I don't want to be driven. You get you one over here and he he be feeling good and all that stuff. And those memories come back. And then you want you another one. Ooh, that was fun. And then you didn't, after about three or four of them, you done picked up a monster, right? I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I remember why I left y'all asses behind, honey. Uh, squeeny, squeeny dog. I, I think I said, I think it was three of them. Lots of obstacles in the park today. Yeah, I've been going out a little bit later. Uh, I just love the, the the mystery of all these dogs, how they're so different. From the little tiny baby ones that fit in your hand all the way to these horses, honey. Right? The human beings, they 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 claim they claim they claim to it. They say, Oh, we created this breed and we created that breed. You, and those are mixed race, mixed race dogs. That's all it is, honey. You ain't this shit. You ain't created life. All your machines and all this stuff. And then you got the AI and all this kind of stuff. They can do all these tricks. You ain't did nothing like what God did. Created life. Sustainable life. Uh. <laughs> what did Nicky B say now? Uh, uh, Nicky B being nasty. I, you know, but you, you got to read between the lines. So, can you please blow your nose? You watching? Blow my nose? I got boogers in my nose. Well, that's good advice, then, honey. You know, I have <sighs> off the camera, off the camera. Well, I think it's bad when you people don't tell you, you know. Uh, baby, you got a booger in your nose. Or, you know, off, off to the side. When you be at the office or whatever, and the woman come in, you know, she's smiling at everybody. Good morning, everybody. You know, your girlfriend should pull you over to the side. Baby, baby, you got wipe your nose. Wipe your nose. <laughs> uh, your zipper's unzip. So we ain't got no problem with that, Nikki. I mean, Goonies. But I do have a cold. And praise God, you know what? 
I'm just realizing I am not sniffling today. So perhaps the cold has passed now. Right? I didn't wake up needing the cough medicine. So that's good. Of course, now I'm paying attention to it. I'll, I'll feel it again. <laughs> it, the boogers in my nose is gone. Thank you so much for your management and controls uh, skills, Goonies. It's management and control. You think you got COVID again? Oh, man. Aren't you getting your shots? The third time. Well, at least now it won't kill you. There's a brand new uh, COVID shot out. It just came out, I think, two weeks ago. I got mine two weeks ago, anyway. So I gave the lady the card to fill out. So in case I go somewhere or something, they want to see that card. Some buildings even want to see your card still. And they say, oh, we don't do that anymore. So now COVID has become just like a flu. You need a flu shot and a COVID shot every year. And they're not going to re bother recording it anymore because they're just going to give it to you every year. Okay. Hey, God, before everything. How you doing? Sentence disappeared with a day or two, but I still got that sick feel. Well, this is the cold season, so when you go, you're going to find when you go to the store, you're going to see all the cold medicine gone. You got to determine is it a cold, is it the flu? I got COVID, am I dying? I got another vaccine too. What's it called? CV something? In my doctor's office. I forget what it's called. Three letters. Not those three letters. Other letters. I'm not going. I'm not doing the vaccine-ish again. No, just get it done, Nikki B. So you ain't got to be worrying about it all the time. Every time somebody sneezes, you got to be worried about it. Some people get COVID now. They don't even know they got it. They didn't pass it through it. They, th they thought they had a cold and they had COVID. Or is it allergies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, allergies are bad too. That may be part of what I have. I do take, I take Claritin every day for allergies. I don't know why I should have allergies though, because the damn, in front of my window, I open the window, there's nothing there but a train track. The train track and then a Safeway. So there's no trees for all the way into the front of the parking lot. That's not like a block away. But I do get allergies. I guess it's just part of getting older. I'm getting things that I didn't get before because I never had allergies. And But these last three years, I've been having them pretty bad. I had four shots already no more. The last one hurt so bad. Ooh, the last one hurt so bad. But the last one this time, I, I never felt effects before, Nikki B. But this last one I got, I came home. I'd already had my, my uh, prescribed two cups of coffee. Or a cup of coffee and an energy drink. And I, as soon as I hit the bed, I fell asleep. I slept the whole day away on the day that I got that last shot. But that's okay. I mean, like I got to go somewhere. I still think you should, if there are vaccines available, go ahead and get them. So you don't have to be stressing about it or worrying about it. Even if you do get it, I mean, it's going to be very light. Holes with heart. Happy belated birthday. Hi, Holes with Heart. Oh, I thought Holes with, I thought y'all was a whole organization, a whole group. Are you one person? Oh, yeah, you say well, we wish your happy birthday on our channel Saturday. Come by sometime. Holes with Heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was there once. I, I forget who, who was in there. Thank you, Holes with Heart. <laughs> So y'all don't mind call y'all can call each other hoes. You just don't want these hard heads calling you hoes. I got you. Mm. So that means I'm allowed to call Jay Wilson a sissy. <laughs> you have not been vaccinated uh, for COVID. Okay, Goonies. You're sitting here saying that you feel like you have COVID now and you have had COVID three times. And you are not getting the vaccine for COVID. Does that make a lot of sense, Goonies? Think about it. If you are particularly susceptible to getting COVID, because most people don't have it three times, you should be the one person who is definitely getting a COVID 
vaccine every time it comes out. Think about that. Every time your dad gets sick, they say he's got COVID. I'm over it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I think those uh those tests they have. I think they have a shelf life. Remember that when they were uh when they were sending us all these free tests for COVID, home tests. I, I never used them because I, I didn't get COVID. I never got sick. But I probably had maybe about six or seven boxes and stuff. But the last time I tried to test it, it, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even show anything. So either it's the no chef life or I'm so dense that I can't even do the damn home test right. But uh, it's once a year. Just get, the, get I mean, you get a flu shot, right? That stuff can be dangerous as you get older too. I got I get definitely get flu flu shot shingles. I think shingles are only. only only every five years, but definitely uh, uh, COVID and flu, and I don't know what this new thing they just gave me. Whatever, you don't even feel it. Now I got to shoot myself in the stomach every week for uh... <laughs> tickles me. What's the shit called? Uh, what am I taking for the weight loss? I don't even know. Y'all gonna see? You get your chance, honey. Ozempic. So I gotta shoot myself in the stomach every week with Ozempic. I had two shots now, but I still have not put down the potato chips yet. Uh, but I did cut out almost all the sugar again. I, I had gotten it to where I, I never purchased anything with sugar in it or no sugar added kind of stuff. But I started slipping and slipping and slipping until my numbers went up again. So now I'm back off of sugar and I'm shooting the COVID. They tell me that I'm going to stop eating. I'm not going to stop being so hungry. Although I don't really eat that much food. When I say I eat one meal a day, I'm talking about many times. It's just a Marie Callender's little TV tray. and But then I snack all the time. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for the testing kits there. Used to be free, not anymore. Yeah, they've downgraded COVID. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zimpik. So far, it doesn't seem to affect my appetite at all. It'll be a while. The first four shots, first uh, four or five shots, is uh 25 milligrams and then you go to this is only to warm you up right to get you ready for this full shot which is 50 milligrams that starts a month later so i'm halfway through that but the the, the ozempic that that needle you don't even feel that you, all you do is feel the, whatever pressure like this nothing there's nothing there because it's so tiny so we're hoping for the best You mean you're shooting in in the shot? I hope. <laughs> so you mix a little comedy in with yours, Goonies. Uh, no, I'm not shooting up COVID. Lord have mercy. Simply eliminate. Did it for you in calories? Simply eliminate. Is that supposed to be sugar free? A lot of this stuff, we need to just not take any of it, right? Because I even heard some stuff that they're talking about artificial sweeteners. Now, I do take that. I had to have cereal. So I cut out anything, any kind of sweet cereal because they, they're loaded with sugar. But just have like uh, Wheaties or something like that. But I do put artificial sweetener in that. And in coffee. No, coffee, I have a sugar because I have... Uh, uh, a regular creamer in there but that's about it but there, there's sugar and everything honey spaghetti rice all that stuff turns to sugar carbohydrates so they traded that, that medication plus they upped me on something else they upped me on high blood pressure medication 
I can't seem to leave the potato chips alone. Even when they say that the, the, there's reduced sodium, there's 50% less. There's still, if you eat the whole bag, nigga, that's, that's the whole bag shit. You're back up to the same amount of salt. So that'll go. That goes periodically, comes and goes. Woo! The streets are talking about Uncle Tim is going to get tattooed up when you start losing weight. Oh, get my 60 year old ass out there. Child. <laughs> people got to, if people, please stop writing all over your face and all this shit, all over your neck. Who, who going to hire you? Maybe you ain't going to always want to be a player, right? Maybe you, maybe you want to get a job at some point. You got writing all over your forehead, all over your damn neck and all that. Are you planning for prison for the rest of your life? It used to be, you know, tattoos was for bikers or people on the uh, on, uh, lower income level, people in the trailers and all that. The bikers basically had tattoos, gangbangers, and people in uh, motorcycle gangs and people like that. They all have traditionally used tattoos all over their body, right? Now everybody getting tattoos. Goddamn, I saw a doctor on here talking the other day, and he was tatted all the way up his arms and all that. Some of them put so many tattoos, you can't even see their body. This is all tattoo artwork and shit. Child, you won't always feel the same. You won't always be the same. What you going to do with all this stuff written all over your body? You may come to a point where you don't even like tattoos. I used to see some of them fools, they get high on this shit, and they start making tattoos all over themselves. And they're not even good tattoos. Just shit written all over your body, child. And then when you get clean and sober, now, now you're stuck with all this, this, this wreckage all over your body. So, yeah, I've seen some beautiful tattoos. If you can afford to get beautiful tattoos. But I think people get hooked on that shit. Right? And particularly when you start writing all over your, your neck and your face. It's not a long-term long plan. But everybody gets tattoos now. I, I, I mean, I know it is what it is, child. The world keeps changing. You may just hope it don't go out of style again. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, guys. And thank you, Goonies, for your 74 uh, post. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't read each one of them, honey. <laughs> thank you all for coming by thank you nappy child for moderating you did it on your own today i appreciate it y'all have a wonderful day i've got to go and get on my business what was my business again i just said what it was gonna be oh this damn computer stuff talk to you guys later